Good morning, everybody. Good morning, guys. Here's the problem. We installed the desk behind us the other week. We love we, it. We showed that to you. And we got so much confidence from that install that uh, we were originally going to <laughs> we were we were originally going to have our floors redone by somebody who actually knows what they're doing, um, but we're gonna try to do that ourselves now. At least, so we're gonna keep the carpet in the bedroom, or we may replace it with better carpet later. But um, we're gonna take the carpet out of the living room, yep. and eventually install some kind of flooring. We haven't exactly decided what through the whole living area up to the bedroom. Um, but this weekend's task is pretty simple because we don't know what we're dealing with yet. We're just going to remove the carpet here in the family room and we've see. already kind of we've cut a few squares out to see what's underneath. It looks like it's just all uh, linoleum so it's already leveled for us. Which just removing awesome. the carpet should be pretty easy. We just have to remove the couch and um, take all yeah. the carpet out today. So if it's not all linoleum then we have to think about leveling and all sorts of other things. So we will see what happens but we're fingers crossed all linoleum. Yeah, let's just hope nothing goes wrong, because if it does, we're screwed! What's Daddy doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? He's laying on your bed, on your couch. What's he doing? Okay, so we got the couch all unscrewed. Uh, we were originally going to take this thing outside so we have this whole area to work with but um it's kind of a precarious to work with and it's a lot heavier than i thought because of the framing so what we're gonna do is we're, we're just gonna leave it here like this tilt it up take the carpet out behind it then tilt it back take the carpet out in front of it then we're, we're good to go when we lay the floors we may need to take it out i don't know yet we're just gonna play that by ear and see how it goes but for now we're just gonna leave it like this and uh continue taking the carpet out One thing we always knew was water damage from this compartment, but you can see there's some damage back here, but it doesn't look horrible. Uh, that's really tough to repair without a new subfloor. So we're not really looking to do that unless it was really necessary. And I mean, I'm no, I'm no contractor, but this doesn't look, this doesn't look horrible. We've done it. Done for At least today. what we were planning to do today. Which was pull up the carpet and assess our flooring situation. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. The linoleum didn't go quite as far as we were hoping. It went to about midway um, underneath that rug. So we're gonna have some, I don't know, we're gonna have to figure out exactly what we're gonna do. We don't wanna pull up all of the linoleum because that's a lot so of work. There's so many staples. Yeah, lots of staples. So, but we also want the new floor to be level. Yes, and some flooring choices that we had don't will show imperfections from the subfloor and stuff underneath it. So we're going to have to do some research. But yeah. that is why we did this this weekend, so that we can do some research and 
figure out what we want to do, and then we can go look at flooring, and hopefully next weekend, actually we install actually, the flooring. Yeah. yeah. All right, so it's the next morning. And we're here to say, never mind. Remember <laughs> yesterday when we were taking out the floor, well, the carpet, um, we said that we were just going to lay whatever new floor we got on top of the linoleum that's already there. Well, that's no longer the case. There's a couple areas that have rips and the, the linoleum's already starting to pull up. And we also have a strip where the linoleum just stopped. Yeah. So we just have subfloor. It's going to be more trouble than what it's worth trying to level that out. And we don't have a large space here. It's only 200 square. Actually, it's less than that where we actually have the linoleum. Yeah. Uh, so we're just going to pull that crap out and start with a fresh subfloor and lay uh, our new floor, whatever we happen to get. On top of that that gives us the option to do um the really nice vinyl plank flooring which is kind of where we're like we're, we're thinking we have more flexibility um, yeah. because we'll have a more level subfloor to do it on so um yeah as you can see this stuff just rips right up don't even have to make a cut necessarily it just I just pull and it rips, which is fine because we're not trying to do this in some some kind of methodical, organized way. We just need to get all this stuff out of here. So to think about the way Airstream and maybe some other manufacturers do this with their floors, the linoleum went clear underneath everything. So the linoleum went in first and then all the cabinetry went in after. So I can't just pull it away if they were to you know put the linoleum up against this these counters and uh, cupboards and things like that uh, so i actually have to get a utility knife and scrape along this because that linoleum floor continues to go to the wall of the airstream so makes it a little bit more difficult uh but nothing too bad so you can see there's a little hole here that you wouldn't otherwise know about if you weren't replacing the floors that's some of our furnace piping Ta-da! All the linoleum is out of the Airstream. A few different vinyl options. We have a luxury vinyl tile that looks like wood. It kind of comes with two different colors in the box. And then we have this vinyl tile that's supposed to look like tile that you actually grout between which is really pretty and we thought we were going to like it more but we think it's just kind of bland that it's all the one color whereas the other one has the two different colors. I think that's going to be the winning combination here. 